Okay guys, so there's just a little bit more information I wanted to go over as far as the interior is concerned before we start talking about some exterior features on the 21 Rogue. Now every single Rogue is going to be equipped with a drive mode selector. Whether it's front wheel drive or all wheel drive will vary a little bit. Now this vehicle is an all wheel drive, meaning the drive mode selector is going to be this little wheel right here. And we do have five drive modes as opposed to the three available on the front wheel drive model. We do of course have our sport mode, eco, auto, snow, and off-road as the five options available on the all-wheel drive Rogue. And this is a very, very nice knob to use in my opinion. Now, moving forward from there, you don't want to get your sport mode confused with your paddle shifters. They're two completely different systems and I wanna show you how to engage both of them individually. Of course, with sport mode, it is as simple as scrolling over to that must drive mode with your drive mode selector. In order to use the paddle shifters, you really have one of two options. One, you can go ahead and put the vehicle down into drive and then just click on the paddle shifter and that will bring up the paddle shift option. Or you can pull down on this gear shift again and that will bring up a one as a gear indicator on the left side of the digital dash. As I click up, which it's not gonna let me because we're not moving, it's going to go through different speed ranges. Now this is a CVT, meaning you still have a one gear transmission essentially, or an unlimited amount of ratios transmission that you're controlling with these paddle shifters. It just gives you an extra little bit of fun if you plan on doing any spirited driving with the vehicle. And honestly, they are very, very quick to shift. If you've ever experienced paddle shifters with a little bit of lag, these are quite nice to deal with in my opinion. Now, if you ever accidentally engage these, which a lot of my customers have called me saying that they have done before, it is as simple as pulling rearward on the electronic gear shift one more time, just as you were like that to put it into drive. And that is the easiest way to toggle back and forth between your manual and your automatic shift modes. Now, if you are in manual shift mode and you don't realize it, and you end up going up to the top of the RPM range of that specific gear ratio, the vehicle will shift for you. So you really truly don't have to worry about accidentally blowing up the engine if you accidentally drop into manual mode one or two times. Now, if you consistently drive in manual mode and you keep that RPM range higher, you are using it at your own risk at that point because you are gonna be putting more wear and tear on the engine. The best way to drive the vehicle is the way the manufacturer intended it, and that is going to be an automatic. However, Nissan was nice enough to give us those paddle shifters as an extra option to have more fun with the 2021 Rogue. Let's go ahead and talk about some exterior features before we end the video.